What's good, y'all? It is your boy, The Shells, and if you're new to the channel, welcome to Shells World TV. Okay, so, I live in New York City, so I figured I would just give some of you tourists out there who are planning to visit New York City an unofficial guide to touring New York City, or just basically visiting New York in general. Pretty sure that by the time I'm finished with this video, some people are gonna try to say, Ooh, he's snitching, and all this other nonsense, but honestly, not here for all that. Some of this is done for comedic purpose, but on the real, some of this is actually real advice. So I, I advise you, if you've never been to New York, or if this is your first time being in New York, you know, stay on your toes so you don't get caught lacking out here, feel me? Okay? And if you don't know what that means, well, uh... <laughs> You need to either look up Urban Dictionary or just, just don't even bother. The point is, don't get caught slipping. Don't ever get too comfortable. That is rule number one when visiting New York City. I know some of these people might look like they're friendly, but it's more than likely that they are scamming you. That is number two. Now, I know for a fact that there are people who do what they gotta do to make a living, okay? And I can respect that wholeheartedly. But the one thing I'm never going to respect is someone who scams someone else into getting something. Alright? It goes from anywhere ranging to someone trying to sell you a CD of music, which might be blank. Also, trying to act like they're really poor on the train. But the reality is they just collecting a whole bunch of money from people. And they probably live in a house and get nice shoes and all these other things. There's plenty of different scams, but the main ones, the main scams I gotta tell y'all about is the people with the CDs, you know, the mixtapes, the free CDs, the supposedly free CDs, and basically, you know, the people who try to act like they're poor on the train. Now, don't get me wrong, some of them are legit poor, but I would say more than at least 80 or 90% of them are just BSing you. So you need to keep that in mind. But also, the other scam you probably don't know about is very famous in Times Square. All these different type of characters and people and costumes. You know, you really don't have to give them a dollar. They might try to strong arm you. These other scammers might try to strong arm you as well. So I just thought y'all should know. So that you don't get caught slipping out here. Feel me? So now, on to the next thing. When you are riding in the subway, uh, I know you're probably tempted, you know, maybe smiling and, and eye contact is not just a, it's not just a, such a bad thing in your country, but in New York City, giving someone eye contact for some ignorant reason is a sign of wanting to fight, or people wanting to fight. They feel like you're challenging them to a fight for some reason. Yeah, my people... <laughs> uh, this is gonna sound like some black on black racism but I don't give a damn you know some of y'all really make it look bad for the rest of us okay apparently being smart and and polite and all those things that that's just not the New York way that's the other thing a lot of people in this city are major 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 uh What's a good word to use without having YouTube say something? They're major terrible people. I want to say something else. You know what? Uh, whatever. A holes. They're, they're, you got a bunch of a holes that that live in the city, and honestly, it can range from the people bum rushing you on the train to get into a seat. Or just getting on the train, period. I've dealt with that a couple of times. It could even range from, say, someone just brushing up against you, not even saying sorry in the street. It can also range from, you know, someone starting a fight for no apparent reason other than you look at them wrong or something of that nature on the street. There's a lot of different types of people that go around just leaving their house, just leaving where they live, just to mess with people all day. And it's not right, but a lot of people do it. And it is what it is, you know? Uh, 
And did I miss anything? Oh yeah. What else was I gonna say? Definitely, definitely be aware of the mariachi bands, the dancers, who, while I'll admit is doing something positive, I feel like they could do that more on the platform, not necessarily on the train. You know, they doing their little karate moves and they might end up knocking someone out for real. You never know. I've never seen it happen, thankfully. But, and I'm not saying it takes away from their talent. They're definitely talented, but I just feel like there's another way to do it. Like I said, they could do it on the platform. They could do it on the street. But on the train, that's just crazy. You know, people think them tricks is a little cool because it's dangerous and it's daring. I get it, but, you know, if you end up drop kicking some bouncer coming home from a club he might just drop kick them you know so again you got to be aware of these things okay i should also tell you if you came here right thinking that you know you're going to end up using a metro card i should tell you the MTA is trying to phase that out, so you might end up using a top card system like they do in LA and things of that nature, okay? I'm not sure if it's going to be completely phased out, but Metro cards might be a thing of the past. That's another thing you need to know. Speaking on more scams, huh, definitely don't take, you know, dollar rides from people. Definitely do not do that. They might be cops undercover. You know, you think you're doing something that's trying to get you somewhere where you're trying to go but the reality is they might be a cop trying to bust you because you know, like, I, like I said you gotta know these things because like I said you get caught lacking out here it's a wrap for you I don't seen too many people having world star moments especially but especially in this city oh, 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 oh. like it is rampant of world star moments unfortunately from all types of world star moments in new york city but that's a definitely a no in this city you know buying dollar rides from people talking about free dollar ride it's not really a free dollar ride you feel me but i'm gonna end it on that note because my camera is starting to die i'm seeing that red battery okay which means i gotta charge it so yo this is your boy the shows and if you're new to the channel once again this is shows world tv don't forget to hit that bell notification to be notified every time I make a new video. I make new videos for every Thursday. Okay, and this is your boy Shells, and I will see you guys next time when I upload. Peace.